Welcome to the Head to Head on the Goodwin Boxing Channel. Myself, Martin Theobald, and joined by Timon Duglin and Balrash Kara, who are going to be meeting on March the 23rd at York Hall on the Goodwin Boxing Show to fight out for the Southern Area Light Heavyweight title. How are you, gents? All not good, bad, all good. Not bad. Right, let's kick things off then. I want to know from the start, Timon, you're uh, six and oh as a fighter. Balraj, you're five and one as a fighter. That's Timon, yeah? Timon, sorry, Timon. Right, we'll go with Timon. What, nice do, you, one, nice what one. do you two know about one another? What do you like? How much have you seen of each other's careers? Not much, uh, to be honest. No, nothing much at all, really. Just sort of just been focusing on myself and uh, the fight got presented and we just took it. Yeah, same. Pretty much the same. I didn't really hear about him until uh, the fight got offered to me. Fight to fight. So, yeah, I said, yeah. So, you've not sort of crossed paths in any way, sort of boxed on the same shows or been around the gyms? Not no, nothing like that. that. No. So, have you sort of then started looking into one another? Have you started doing any um, looking at old fights or looking sort of chatting with old opponents and like that? No, I don't really. Um, I don't really like to focus on the opponent too much because kind of it can come to overtake. I'm more focused on myself. Yeah, the same. Just what he said, really. Just focus on yourself. Do what you need to do, and uh, what happens on the night happens. And. So we, I went through the records there at the beginning. Timon, you're an undefeated fighter at this point, and Balraj, you've uh, you've tasted defeat. Yep. Do you think that works for or against you coming into this fight? In that you sort of you've been down that road so far, you don't want to be there again, and now you've got a title on the line. Uh, it means nothing to me whatsoever. I take each fight as it comes, and I'm here to win. And that's it. And Timon, for you, sort of on the other end of that, undefeated, um, do you take confidence from the fact that Balraj has, has lost one in his career so far or do you not read too much too much into it? No, I can't read too much into it. What happened that night might not happen on the 23rd of March. So I'd be, I'd be silly to read into it. I'm not his opponent who he fought that night with two different people. Yeah. What will people see from this fight? What are you two anticipating from this fight? Um, sort of in terms of your own styles and then what you anticipate the other person's going to bring. Go on, over to you, Balraj. Yeah, uh, well, they just expect a great fight from me. You know, I've been working on my skills in the gym. I've been working on my craft. And then on the night, you're going to expect to see the best of me so far. And how about you, Tim? What are you sort of anticipating for the evening? Um, pretty much the same. Just improvements. I feel like I've improved fight by fight. Not always been happy with my performances, but stayed in the gym um, pretty much constantly since I turned professional. So just small steps improving on my craft. And then, yeah, just putting the performances in come fight night. <clears throat> And is that then the right time, do you think, those little improvements that you've been making, you're the right time for you to step up and take on this kind of challenge and go for a title? Or would you rather have sort of waited a little longer and made more adjustments? Um, you know what? I feel like it, it kind of had to be now. Not now, right now. If, if, a, if a couple more, I don't know what you want to call them, learning fights came, then it is what it is. But at the same time, it's a tricky one, basically, because in this day and age, the, the step from Southern area to English to Commonwealth, British, whatever, there's like, it's, it's, it gets a bit tricky from here. So you kind of just have to go for it, whatever, when the opportunities present themselves. And then obviously trusting your management and your team to continue to progress you in the right direction. So, yeah, I do feel like I was, I'm ready for this one now. We're just, it's just one fight at a time. So this, I do feel like this was next for me, yeah. And a long way of answering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have you sort of um, have you given any thought to winning this fight and what that means in terms of the how it progresses your career into those next levels? Timon just mentioned there about sort of going into English and it's difficult to step back once you picked up a title. Um, do you feel ready for that next stage of a career now? 
of course, this is what we get into boxing for, is we get to win the titles and progress our career. And when the opportunity comes, you got to make sure that you're ready to take these opportunities with both hands. And would either of you have sort of rather fought anyone else for this title? Is there anyone that you'd sort of thought, oh, I fancy that? Or is it that, you know, as you said earlier, you got offered this name and you took it? So was there any disappointment in getting this as an opponent? No, nah, no, nothing at all. Look, it is what it is. The fight got uh, got made and this is it. And this is who the opponent is for each other. Yeah, I agree. Um, he was who came up. And this is where we are. There's no really... Every part is going to be different wherever you are. So there's no... You can't pick and choose. And for people that have never seen either of you fight before, what are your... Tell us about what your individual styles are going into uh, March 23rd. Got, we'll start with you, Timon. Um, A little bit of boxing, a little bit of fighting. I started boxing late. So I wouldn't say I'm like... Boxer, boxer, but like I say, I'm learning on my learning, learning as I'm going along, and um, I don't mind a bit of a scrap as well. So put them both together, and that's what you'll see. And how about you, Balraj? Yeah, no, same really. I can box when I need to box and fight when I need to fight. That's the way you need to be. Brilliant. Right, gentlemen, March twenty third, Southern Area, first title fight for both of you. One of you two. Um, walks away all being well with um, the title any final words for one another prior to that fight no it's all the best and now it becomes fit and healthy and ready for fight night we'll have a good fight for the fans Damn. Damn. And the next time you see each other you'll be uh, weighing in day before the fight ready to go yeah ready 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 born ready <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen I wish you both all the best March 23rd York Hall get in contact with yourselves are there any sponsors that you want to mention while we're on it people that are supporting your career helping you through that fight yeah I'd like to um, big up my gym first of, first of all Whitley ABC and then my pal my other training partner slash trainer uh, Boxing to Shape and uh, yeah that's about it for now no, of course, yeah. Thank you to my uh, boxing coach and my club as well. But also, a big shout out to my sponsors is uh, MSL Cable in Broomfield Coffee and uh, Science for Athletes and uh, Vitality Rehab just to keep me in check and allow me to train all the time. Brilliant. Excellent. Hopefully, it all shows on March 23rd for both of you. Turn up in great shape. Uh, may the best man win. We look forward to it. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice one. See you soon. Thank you. Cheers, all.